In this video, we'll use Taylor series to find limits that are in indeterminate form. Consider this limit. If we plug in 0 in the numerator, we get e to the 0 minus 1 plus 0, or 1 minus 1, which is 0. And if we plug in 0 in the denominator, we get 0. So this limit has a 0 over 0 indeterminate form. Now, instead of using L'Hopital's rule repeatedly to find a limit, which would get to be kind of a mess considering the derivatives involved, let's use Taylor series. These terms here are already polynomial terms, so we need to find a Taylor series for e to the minus x squared. We've seen that the Taylor series for e to the x is this sum, so we can get a Taylor series for e to the minus x squared by plugging in minus x squared for x. Let me simplify a little bit by distributing the n. I get minus 1 to the n, x to the 2n over n factorial. And the first few terms are 1, when it equals 0, minus x squared over 1 factorial, when n equals 1, plus x to the 4th over 2 factorial, when n equals 2, minus x to the 6th over 3 factorial, when n equals 3, and so on. Now I'm going to substitute that series in to the limit. Notice that the 1 in this Taylor series is going to cancel with the negative 1 in the other part of the limit, and the negative x squared from the Taylor series is going to cancel with the x squared. That leaves me with the limit of x to the 4th over 2 minus x to the 6th over 6 plus so on, higher powers of x, divided by x to the 4th. Now I can factor out an x to the 4th from the numerator and actually cancel it with the x to the 4th in the denominator. Even though I didn't write down what these higher power terms are, I know that they have higher powers of x over here and then x to the 6th, and so when I factor out an x to the 4th, we'll still have some positive powers of x, actually bigger powers than x squared. So after canceling, I can now substitute in x equals 0, and I see that this term goes to 0, and all other terms, which will also have powers of x in them, will also go to 0, and that leaves me with the limit of 1 half. Taylor series is a more powerful method than L'Hopital's rule for this problem, because L'Hopital's rule only takes one derivative at a time, whereas Taylor series carries information about all the derivatives. We can actually use Taylor series to justify L'Hopital's rule for limits with 0 over 0 indeterminate forms involving functions with Taylor series. Consider the limit as, say, x goes to a of a ratio f of x over g of x, where the limit as x goes to a of f of x is 0, the limit as x goes to a of g of x is 0, and f of x and g of x are infinitely differentiable and can be written in terms of their Taylor series expansions. So I'm going to write this limit of these functions by writing out the Taylor series expansions. I'm going to center those Taylor series expansions at a, the place where I'm taking the limit. Taylor series for f of x is f of a plus f prime of a times x minus a plus f double prime of a over 2 factorial times x minus a squared, and so on. And g of x can be written in terms of its Taylor series expansion also. Since we're assuming f of x and g of x are infinitely differentiable, they're certainly continuous. So f of a is the same thing as the limit as x goes to a of f of x. That's the definition of continuity, which we're assuming is 0. Similarly, g of a is the limit as x goes to a of g of x, which is 0. Now all the other terms in the numerator and the denominator have a factor of x minus a in them. So I'm going to factor out that factor of x minus a. Now let's cancel the factors of x minus a and let x go to a, which means that all of these terms and these terms that include a factor of x minus a in them still, all of those will go to 0. That allows us to evaluate the limit as f prime of a over g prime of a 
which is the same thing as the limit as x goes to a of f prime of x over g prime of x by the definition of continuity because the derivatives are also continuous. So we've shown that the limit of f of x over g of x is the same as the limit we get by taking the derivatives, which is exactly L'Hopital's rule. In this video, we use Taylor series as an alternative to L'Hopital's rule for finding the limits of 0 over 0 indeterminate forms. And we also used it to justify L'Hopital's rule.